On Orosal News at 7, Governor Ayedatiwa felicitates Christian faithful at Easter, calls for peaceful coexistence with adherents of other religions. On Dosted Contributory Health Insurance Scheme commences monitoring of service providers' healthcare facilities for effective delivery. Please arrest eight suspected cop killers in Delta State. And from the foreign scene, woman's death sparks deadly mob violence in Mexico. Good evening and thanks for joining us on the news tonight. I am Sahid Aribisala. As Christians worldwide celebrate Easter, Governor Lucky Aida Tiwa has felicitated faithful on the occasion. The governor said Easter is significant for sacrifice and show of love to one another, as exemplified by Jesus who laid his life for man. It charged Christians to remember the country in prayer at this crucial moment for the progress of the country. It further urged them to extend hands of love to fellow men and continue to coexist with adherents of other religions. Former member of the House of Representatives and Chieftain of the All Progressives Congress, Adejoro Adeogu, has felicitated Christian faithful in Undo State and Nigeria on the celebration of Easter. Adeogun admonished the people and residents of Undo State to embrace the hope of a better future despite the current economic challenges confronting Nigeria. He emphasized the need for show of love, selflessness and charity as exemplified by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. He urged leaders at different political and administrative levels to lead by example in selflessness, generosity, respect for followers and the fear of God in their decisions actions and inactions. Security agencies in Undo State have assured residents of a smooth and violence free Easter celebration. The assurance follows the security agency's deliberate deployment of operatives to different nooks and crannies of the state to ensure maximum protection of lives and property. OSRC reports that the State Commissioner of Police, Abayomi Oladipo, and joined residents to celebrate within the ambit of the law. ...is one of the periods that comes annually with days of holidays for many Nigerians. The Christian commemoration of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and other activities which comes after the lengthened season affords some Nigerians, including here in Undo State, to enter relaxation mood. While residents seize the opportunity offered by this period, security agencies in Undo State have stepped up their tempo towards providing maximum security of lives and property. The Undo State Command of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps and a CDC, according to its commandant, has deployed no fewer than 1,100 personnel to various parts of the state, drawn from Female Squad, Rapid Response Squad, Counter Terrorism Unit, among others. The commandant, Olufemi Ibiloe, said the deployment was due to the expected high level of human and vehicular movement in and out of the state during and after the festive period. On its path, the Undo State Commissioner of Police, Abayomi Oladipo, says officers of the command have been drawn to forestall any possible breakdown of law and order. The stance, we have deployed all our human and material assets to make the festival period a crime-free one that every resident and indigents of the state can freely celebrate the season unfettered. I don't see we are using this opportunity again to warn would be criminals to stay off because if they fail to do the long arm of law will catch up with them. Abayomi appealed to residents to celebrate within the ambit of the law. Similarly, the Undo State Security Network Agency, Amoteku, 
also revealed that the Corps deployed about 700 officers across the 18 local government areas of the state to guarantee the safety of lives and property in the state. The security chiefs enjoined residents to provide adequate information on strange occurrence in the environment for prompt action. Sahid Aribisala, OSAUC News. In the same vein, security agencies have beefed up security in different parts of the country to forestall unsavory incidents. Nigeria Police Force, Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, the military, Department of State Service, and Federal Road Safety Corps, ITN Security Surveillance Nationwide, and deployed key personnel in strategic locations, including worship centers. National Agency for the Control of AIDS, NACA, has restated its commitment to combating HIV AIDS and promoting the well-being of all Nigerians. NACA made the commitment in its Easter message, quoting the agency's Director General, Temitokba Ilori, as emphasizing that Easter is a time of reflection, renewal and hope, which symbolizes a triumph of light over darkness and of love over despair. Dr. Ilori reminded Nigerians of the values of compassion, unity and resilience that resonate deeply with NACA's mission to combat HIV AIDS and promote the well-being of all. Ilori wished all Christians a blessed Easter filled with peace, joy and the blessings of renewal. We're due to take a break on the news at 7. We'll be back with more stories. Please stay with us. Hello, my bro. Man, the rain is so heavy here. And I saw what's traffic. I think we should go score, huh? Not a chance. Aisha. We don't quit, guys. I'll be there. Done. Two files received. I'm on my way. Take the first right in 50 meters and you're there. Copy that. Aisha, where are you? Guess where? Two minutes, two minutes, move! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Runway X. The future of fashion showcasing. Very impressive. How did you pull that off? With Nigeria's top tech talent. And glow. Power your relentless ambition with ultra high speed data. Glow with pride. Let's give it up for Giga Babata! A 358 pounds! Let's give it up for Destroyer! Is your fear beneath the appearance of incredible infrastructure, standard facilities, and beautiful amenities? Our estates at Adam Homes come affordable with great discounts and flexible payment plans. No stress, no hassles. Beat your fears and take that bold step today. Subscribe to own your property. Adam Homes. Building cities, communities, and homes. Thank you for rejoining us on the news tonight. You can watch us live on our website, www.orsc.ng, or follow us on Facebook at ORSRC TV, and on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel, ORSRC TV. Undo. The Orange Health Insurance Scheme in Ondo State is set to commence its monitoring mission of the healthcare facilities by providers for effective delivery. Director General Ondo State Contributory Health Commission, Dr. Abiodun Oyenei, gave the hint while informing the stakeholders in the Orange Health Insurance Scheme of activities of the agency and the current space of the project. Omari Langbiji has more. 
to ensure effective service delivery of the health insurance policy of Ondo State, oranges to the state's public servants, the state contributory health commission embarked on periodic meetings with stakeholders to guarantee the accountability infused into the program. The Director General of Ondo State Contributory Health Commission, Dr. Abiodun Oyeneyi, confirmed that the health insurance program has covered 5.3% of its program since inception in December 2022. According to him, all the health providers of the scheme are being paid to date, assuring the beneficiaries of more quality delivery. But I'm glad to inform you that as we are talking today, the coverage of health insurance in Nondo State have moved to 5.3%. <laughs> and we are not resting on our OAS. We will ensure that we deliver the dividends and also ensure that those in the informal sector, retirees, organized private sector, are also brought on board. Reacting, labor leaders, including state chairman, Nigerian Labour Congress, Victor Amoko, pointed out some shortcomings, especially at some government health facilities, and called for improvements. If people are patronizing private hospitals, and our own hospitals, on of us grow the bed, how do we listen about that? 90% of the problem we are having is on government facilities. Head of Service, Bayo Phillips, represented by a permanent secretary, Ayodili Francis, commended the agency for a remarkable job and encouraged those who are yet to key into the program to register to begin enjoying the dividends of democracy. So I know that the commission has been tried in, in terms of information, mobilization. So but there is also need for us to double our efforts, sir. Leadership in the state health sector acknowledged the service of health insurance scheme, assuring them and beneficiaries of better quality service delivery. We need the support of everybody, especially that of the Office of the Head of Service, to take appropriate action against any officers. We are sure that system, the system will move forward. I want to let us know that this achievable milestone the failure of the detected can be achieved. We look at our own issues too. Special advisor to Governor Loki Ayedatiwa on health matters, Professor Semidele Odimayo, while reacting to the responses from the public servants, said, Ondo State Government is committed to the health and welfare of workers and called for more collaboration with a promise to act accordingly. I know that we are in for a big deal in Ondo State. So you can expect better. Even concerning the teaching hospital complex, the Unimed teaching hospital, we have had to, on behalf of the governor, interacted with so many stakeholders on the way forward. Over 92,000 participants are currently benefiting from the scheme as the agency is putting necessary machinery in place to bring in the informal sector. Omoriola Humbiji, OSRC News. The National President of Actors Guild of Nigeria, Emeka Rollers, has expressed gratitude to President Tunubu for his intervention over the health of alien actor Zak Oji, who has departed to the United Kingdom for post-surgery assessment. According to Rollers, the Actor Guild of Nigeria is witnessing unprecedented support that President Tinubu is giving to the creative industry, which has clearly shown his clear determination to uplift the sector to be more relevant and beneficial to national economy. Rollers also thanked the First Lady, Senator Olura Mitinubu, for her care towards the veteran actor, as well as Minister of Women Affairs, Uju Ohanaye, for her unflinching support. It would be recalled that it was rumored that Zach Oji had passed on, but the leadership of the Actor Guild, Actors Guild of Nigeria debunked the viral report. Operatives of Nigeria Police Force have arrested eight suspects allegedly involved in the killing of some policemen in the Ugeli area of Delta State. This is coming barely a week after five people were arrested in connection to the murder of the officers. Last Saturday, the police released the identities of 12 policemen, six of whom they said were murdered and the six others still missing 
during a rescue operation in the state. Given an update on the case, Force Public Relations Officer Olumu Iwadejobi said the suspects are currently in custody, assisting with the ongoing investigation. He attributed the arrest to intensive investigative efforts by the operatives. The Anambra State Police Command says it has raided some camps belonging to gunmen and insurgents who specialize in attacking police formations in the state. According to the command spokesman, Tochuku Ikenga, the police-led Joint Security Force carried out the raid as ordered by the State Commissioner of Police, Adiremi Adioye. Six improvised explosive devices already primed for attacks and two walkie-talkies were recovered from the camps. The police spokesman said all the camps were subsequently destroyed to deny the insurgents bases for launching attacks. Ikenga added that a raid on the forest in search of insurgents and the camps is still ongoing to eliminate the terrorists, rescuing abducted victims and recovering firearms and stolen vehicles in their possession. And now to the Florentine, Pope Francis has led a Good Friday service at Vatican, though he cancelled at the last minute its attendance at the procession at Rome's Colosseum in what the Vatican described as a bid to preserve his health ahead of more Easter weekend engagements. Nuns, priests, a hermit, charity workers, migrants and disabled people were among those who took part in the service held in a landmark moment believed to have been a place of martyrdom for early Christians. <laughs> King Charles III will make his first public appearance in months tomorrow when he and Queen Camilla attend an Easter service at Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace. Charles was diagnosed with cancer in February and has not held any major public appearances in the time since he has undergone treatment. Akin today, Akin Shimola has details. King Charles is due to make a public appearance at a royal event this weekend. The first since he was diagnosed with cancer earlier this year. Buckingham Palace said the 75-year-old monarch would attend the traditional Easter Sunday church service at the Windsor Castle alongside his wife, Queen Camilla. The service is one of the annual engagements usually attended by all the senior royals. Well, this year's event will serve to spotlight how depleted the British monarchy had become. Sunday's most notable absences will be that of the Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children. The Princess revealed last week she had begun preventative chemotherapy for cancer following abdominal surgery in January. Here is Erin Hill, People Magazine Senior Royal Editor. As we know, King Charles really wanted to have a slimmed down monarchy when he took took on the throne, but he never could have anticipated it slimming down to, to where it is now. Charles' desire for a slimmed down institution was designed to counter accusations it was bloated with a stands a relative living off taxpayer funded handout. Or well, there are now even gaping holes in his immediate circle. This not only include his younger son Prince Harry and his wife Meghan who left for the US three years ago, but his younger brother Prince Andrew who was banished from public life in 2019 over his relationship with the late US sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. According to royal biographer Claudio Joseph, Camilla and William have done a sterling job in their absence of Charles it still wouldn't have been easy. It is, it's going to be on a personal level, it's going to be awful for the royals. And obviously on a practical level, it, it makes things difficult. Of the remaining official working royals, those that carry out duties for the king, such as opening new buildings and meeting foreign dignitaries, 
Many are now from the late Queen Elizabeth generation. Princess Anne often touched the leaves for being the hardest working royal, but she herself will turn 74 this year. Although polls show most Britons remain generally supportive of the monarchy, it also suggests that a majority is shrinking with a growing gap between enthusiastic older people and indifferent younger generations. Akin Tunde, Akin Shimola for SRC News. A woman suspected of murdering an eight year old girl in southern Mexico has been beaten to death by protesters. The violent protest began after the body of Camila Gomez was found by a roadside near the city of Taco. Two men, also suspected by locals of involvement, were attacked but survived. Camila disappeared after entering a neighbor's house to use their swimming pool. To end the news tonight, another look at the major stories. Governor Lucky Aida Tiwa of Undo State has felicitated Christian faithful as they celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. In his Easter message, he called for peaceful coexistence with adherents of other religions. The endorsed Contributory Health Insurance Scheme is due to commence monitoring of service providers' healthcare facilities for effective service delivery. We also told you that the Nigerian police force have arrested eight suspected killers of six policemen in Delta State. And from the foreign scene, a woman has been beaten to death in Mexico for killing an eight-year-old girl. And that's the news tonight. Thanks for watching. Happy Easter celebration.